Hello, everyone. Um, just before that uh, presentation, I just asked how many people use um, ID for your ROS, uh, ROS uh, programming. Please raise your hands. Not too many, that's quite few. Um, when I start to use ROS, um, I, all, always, I was always struggling with um, programming with like just a text editor and then come on the line. So I always ask myself uh, why there, there is no um, environment for uh, those pro programming. My answer is uh, I'm not smart enough. So that's the reason why uh, I need that. But after I had several interviews, many interviews with, with some um, uh, college students to ask them um, what do you feel about ROS, they always said um, the entrance level of ROS is quite high. So it is not easy for them to start their um, um, development um, in ROS. Um, so uh, we, we know robots business and research is you know getting um, developed faster and faster. So we get we need more people to go to this area. So I think probably we need a, a, a quite good tool to help them to get into that area. So that's the reason why we developed the Loboware stu Studio. Um, just uh, as Atom said, we, we, we also thanks to um, um, GitHub because we use elect Electron as the uh, base core as well. And we use uh, VS Code as the second level to support us to develop a, a, a tool, especially for loss development. Um, so that's provide loss workspace man management, code editing, building, debugging, uh, etc. And that's make uh, makes um, loss development quite easy. Um, I just give you a, a demo. This is the, the procedure of we use um, uh, Loboware Studio. Just launch it, then we can set up a, a workspace, and uh, then we can create a new package. Just put name in. Then we can see if we want to add a node. Um, Loboware Studio will ask you to build up a uh, executable file or a lib file, then it will automatically modify um, CMIC file list to, to do that. And you can edit it, you can get the, the um, syntax highlighting, auto completion, go to definition, etc., to make the programming quite easy. And then you can debug it. You can set a breakpoint and track everything. Okay, after compile, you can see you can see the node list here, and then you can put the arguments in. Thank you.